Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am showing how you can download a font from dafont.com and install it onto your computer so that you can use it in Cricut Design Space. I actually have a video similar to this, but it is in a Windows computer. It's actually one of my most popular videos, and I just recently got a Mac computer, maybe a couple months ago. So this video is for anyone who owns a Mac computer because it is different than a Windows computer. I personally think it's a little bit easier than a Windows computer. So first of all, here is defont.com. This is where I get so many of my fonts. You can download these for free. Over here, you can see it'll say free for personal use. And the majority of these fonts are free just for personal use. If I click on this font, these fonts will usually have this note from the author just below it. It'll say if it's free for personal use and down here it says purchase full version and commercial license here. So you can purchase a commercial license if you want to use this to sell. But if you want fonts just for personal use, defont.com has thousands of fonts that are really fun to try out. Really quickly before I show you how to download and install this, I also wanted to show you that you can type in a preview and you can see what the font will look like with whatever wording you're wanting to use. So that is really nice. I use that all the time. When you find a font that you want, you can see that the download button is here. So you'll just select on download. Once it does that, you can see that it shows up in the bottom left corner and it's hard to see here, but it is a zip file. Select on that. Then it will bring you over to your downloads folder. If for some reason you didn't get a chance to click on that in the bottom corner, you can just go over to your finder, go to your downloads and you can see it here. So here you can see the font is California Sunrise. This is the zip file for it. On a Windows computer, you have to extract all of the files on the zip file, but on a Mac, it automatically does it for you. So if we double click in here, we can just click install font. Then it'll automatically go over to your font book and you can see all of the characters that this font has. If you want to see how to get glyphs, I also have a video on that, so I'll link that down below. I made one specifically for a Mac computer. I'm just going to come back over here and I delete my zip files. You don't have to, but I usually just delete mine. I want to download another font though because sometimes it doesn't come up with just this file. Sometimes it will come up with a folder, so I'm going to try to find one of those. I'm going to go over to script fonts and find a script font. I'm going to do the hello honey. I'm going to click over here on download. Then I am going to select on the zip file. As you can see here, there's the zip file for hello honey and there's a blue folder. So you can see sometimes it will come up with a folder. If you double click on that, then you have a few other things. If you click on the please read, the author usually has some more information about the font in there. And here is our font. It says OTF. Sometimes when you download a font, there will be two separate ones. One will be OTF. The other will say TTF. I always download the OTF because that's just the newest version. So I'm going to double click in here. It will come up with that same screen and I'll hit install font. It will go into our font book again. And once again, you can scroll down and see all of the different characters with that font. There's one more thing I want to show you just to make sure that it does show up in Cricut Design Space. So this is installed in our computer. It's called Hello Honey. But if you go over to Cricut Design Space, I already have Cricut Design Space open. If you click on text and type in Hello Honey, it doesn't show up. So that is because I have Cricut Design Space already pulled up. You will need to go up here and quit Cricut Design Space, then go back into it. So if I go back into the app, I'm in my canvas again. I'm going to click on text. And you can see it pop up there. 
So now it is installed on your computer and you can pull it up on Cricut Design Space. And just a side note for these script fonts, you will want to connect these letters together. So if you ungroup here, you can connect these together and then you'll want to weld those. So you can just connect that, then select all of these and click weld. Cricut Design Space is kind of funny with its letter spacing, so you do have to do that for script font. I also wanted to quickly show you in Defont that you can see that there's lots of different columns to help narrow down your search. And I have a new video that's going to be coming out really soon with my favorite fonts from Defont. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I'm really excited for that video. Let me know if you have any questions in the description box below. Subscribe if you're new to my channel for more Cricut tutorials and projects, and I hope you all have a good day.